Team of the season is here. And if you're looking for a cheap and reliable way to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins over Team of the season, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. You can get a massive 10% discount. And you can also get an extra 5% when you use my code Martin. Link will be in the description. What are the best five formations in FIFA 23 to help you hit rewards like this? Well, today we are going to find out. So the first one on my list is the 4-3-1-2, which is the formation that I play the most. Um, if you want full tactics for any of these formations, just look in the pinned comment. So 4-3-1-2 for me is a really attacking formation. Really like it a lot. Gives you a chance to overpower your opponent in the middle part of the pitch. Um, you can see here that we have to get forward on the two wide centre mids. And that just helps you overpower them in the middle of the pitch. It's the kind of uh, formation where you're really taking it to your opponent. Equally, it gives you that nice advantage with three central midfielders. There's not many formations that you play that have three central midfielders. So that's your strength. Your weakness is that it will give your opponent's fullbacks a lot of space and potentially a bit of space on the wing, but there's pros and cons of every formation. It's important that you understand which ones they are. In this formation as well, it's very important to attack with your fullback. So you can have that unbalanced if you need to, or if you're good at um, using them to attack like me, I just have them stay back by attacking and use them normally. Like I said, full tactics will be in the pinned comment. So yeah, in no particular order, first formation is the 4-3-1-2. Okay, next one on our list is the 4-3-2-1. Very similar to the 4-3-1-2. Very, very popular formation this year. Again, it's similar to the 4-3-1-2 in that you, if you're going to use this, you're the kind of person that's looking to overpower your opponent. Put your foot on their throat. Really put them under pressure, okay? It's the kind of formation that's going to allow you to attack very quickly, very centrally, and overpower your opponent. Let's have a quick look into the instructions a bit further. So you can see here that again, you've got those three central midfielders, which there aren't many formations where you have that. So that use that as a, an advantage. Um, having the left forward and the right forward here, again, is a really big advantage because it allows you to have that concentrated amount of people in the middle of the pitch. And honestly, it just overpowers your opponent again. Make sure that you're using the fullbacks to give you width. If you're not using them to give you width, it's going to make you very predictable, which is never a good thing. We always want uh, variety. And make sure that the three in the middle are on cover centre because that's the strength of the formation. Okay, on to the next one. Third formation on our list today is the four triple two. Again, it's another formation that I actually really like. Um, and is very popular in game. This is a formation that I use a lot when coaching people online. I, what I like about it is that it gives you a chance to overload in the attack because the two cams end up playing like left forward to right forward. So it's like having four up front. And defensively, with the two centre mids, you're very, very solid when you win the ball. So I do, I do like it. I do rate it a lot. Let's have a quick look at some of the instructions type of players that you're looking for. So these two guys here, the two centre mids, really, they both need to be able to defend. They're your anchors. So when, you, when you've got the ball forward, they're, right, they're sitting there ready to move the ball on, receive it, recycle it, keep your team moving. And ever so often, it's nice if you've got one of them that can just add a little bit more to your attack. That, for me, is Odegaard. Someone that can drop a shoulder, quick ball roll, step over, and go through the middle of the pitch rather than going wide. Out wide is very much the strength of this formation. Really, you want pace and trickery if you can get it out wide. And then you're simply going to be looking for either cutbacks or play that ball into the middle of the, of the box. Quick twist, turn, bang, it's in the net. Uh, really successful formation for triple two. It's probably got a bit more balance to it than the first two that we've looked at, but it really depends what type of player you are. But there we go. That's the third formation, the four triple two. Don't forget, full tactics are in the pinned comment. 
Next one on the list, guys, good old fashioned 442. Yeah, if you're somebody that likes to play a very balanced game, maybe quite a patient one, um, you don't necessarily excel on defense or attack, this is very much going to be the type of formation for you. Two banks of four, you've got two strikers, you've got width, really does give you a bit of everything. And I think it's the type of formation that you can go to if you're a bit stuck. I always say, like, if you're a bit stuck, go to the 4 2 3 1 or go to the 4 4 2. They're just nice, balanced formations. So, obviously, the back four going to be stay back while attacking. There's no need to do anything with the full backs when you've got wingers. But in midfield, we need midfielders that can do a bit of both, okay? Really looking for a bit of everything um, with those two centre mids because you're asking a lot of them. They need to stay into the centre of the pitch um, because if not, we're going to have a huge hole. We've got width, we've got full backs and we've got wingers. Of course, again, out wide, you want pace and you want trickery, really, uh, because you're going to ask them to come back and you're ask, going to ask them to go long. And then up top, you need a bit of pace and you need lethal finishers, really to have one on getting behind. You want an Mbappe, somebody like that up there that can stretch them, one that can come short because you want variety, okay? And the 4-4-2 gives you variety, as in you can go wide, you go through the middle, you can go long. So yeah, it does what it says in the tin. It's very balanced and it gives you lots of variety, okay guys? And last, but by no means least, is a formation that is very much flavor of the month at the moment. Um, it's not necessarily a formation that I enjoy because um, you always have formations that are a little bit flash in the pan each each FIFA, you know. Last FIFA, it was the 3-5-2. This year, it's the 5-4-1. But, of course, it is effective. It's very difficult um, to break down. So, if you're struggling to keep people out and you want to do, and you are decent at attacking, then this very much could... Um, work out for you. What obviously you're looking for is you need a lot of pace because what you're going to do is end up counter-attacking. So your two fullbacks and your two wingers, you want a lot of pace in those type of positions because they're going to, when you break, they're going to end up supporting that front man along with the two centre mids. And that's why when you do end up breaking, you've actually got quite a lot of people forward. But when you lose the ball, they will work their way back into position very, very quickly. That's what makes it difficult to break down. So if that floats your boat, go for it. I'm sure some of you are already um, using it and playing it. But guys, there we go. They are my top five formations in FIFA right now that will help you get better results in rivals and foot champs if you've liked the video please drop a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys very very soon see you later guys bye bye